Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning my Valentine's Day week, which is from February 11th through the 17th. And for this week, I have a really Valentine's Day themed kit. It's super cute and it's from a shop called Stickers by Ashley K. I really, really love this shop and I think she has really unique designs for her kits because I'm pretty sure she hand draws all her artwork um, just because I haven't really seen this artwork in other shops. So here we have the eight full boxes and then some three heart checklists on the side. We've got the bottom washi and then the date covers, which I love because it's on this like wood pattern. And then the last page here has half boxes, six heart checklist, a like vertical washi strip, some water trackers, and then some meal trackers. So this is a very small kit. I did pick it up a la carte and I'm just gonna plan on pulling in some quarter boxes for my collection to have more functional items to work with. But ultimately I feel like this is a really good um, base kit. And yeah, so without further Further ado, I'm going to start by putting down my bottom washi and then I'm going to go ahead and build my spread from there. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to pull in some Simply Gilded washi with the bows um, just because it's Valentine's week and I couldn't resist pulling them in. So I ended up trimming down the bottom washi that came in the kit so that it would fit in the remaining space. I had to trim a little off of the side because it didn't fit perfectly and the tool that I use is the Slice Precision Cutter and I just get that off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if I remember, um, but if not, just let me know and I will send you the link. Um, moving to my sidebar, this kit did not come with a quote box so I decided to create one of my own. Um, I wanted to write in the quote, love is in the air because this week not only was it Valentine's Day but I also got to see some of my best friends um, over the weekend so I just felt a lot of different kinds of love this week and yeah, so I first wrote it in pencil and then I went over it with my Tombow Fudenosuke brush lettering pen, which I really like. I think that was the perfect size to write on the, um, on the full box. I erased the pencil marks just because it was kind of peeking through and then I moved to the rest of my sidebar. First, I put down a glitter header from the Paperly Boutique and then I used a habit tracker that was part of my leftovers collection to mark working out. I used a quarter box from Very Jenny Co. to mark my happy moments, and then I also pulled in a gold foil bow from um, White Deer Stationery. Underneath that, I put down a heart checklist um, to mark my happy moments, and then at the bottom, I put down this header sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams with a heart check flag. It was kind of hard to build my sidebar this week because um, the kit did not come with any sidebar sticker, so I'm just pulling in what I have, and um, I kind of played around with different uh, placements of these stickers because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, and it was kind of squished. At one point, I pulled out this um, scallop label from Sticker Bloom. It was one of her older stickers, so I don't know if it's still available but eventually I went back to the header from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and then just used the check flag in the middle. I also pulled in a utensil sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark my dinners for the week. Next, I'm just putting down all of my date covers. These did come in the kit and because I couldn't find any date dots to match, I just ended up writing in the dates myself. Moving to Monday, at the top I put down another glitter header. All the ones that I use this week are from the Paperly Boutique. And then I use this quarter box, which was from Sticker Bloom. And the coffee sticker, as well as the Coffee Monday script sticker, are both from Paper and Milk. I used a bow paper clip sticker from Planner Frenzy to mark a morning meeting that I had. And then on the half box that I put down, I used a cat on a laptop sticker. That's from Raspberry Designs, and I just used that to mark that I had a really productive day. I am not really happy with the fact that productive, I had to split onto two lines and hyphenate it, but um, I couldn't figure out a way to fix that, um, so I just left it. When I got home from work, I did a workout, so I created a little background with the remaining of the washi strip that I cut off from the bottom, and um, that workout tech sticker is from Love Shira. Underneath that, I put down a two heart checklist to mark some things that I did that evening. And one of the things was that we started the Ted Bundy documentary on Netflix, which was really creepy. Um, I don't even know why I started because I'm not usually into um, kind of scary or creepy shows. But anyways, um, the gold foil TV sticker is from Magic Prince Co. Moving to Tuesday, I first started by putting down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi, the thinner one, but at the very end of my spread, I do end up lifting it up just because I wasn't able to pull that in any other day. Um, then underneath that, I used a half scallop from Panda Bird Designs to mark a meeting, and then I had an IEP meeting that afternoon, so I used that flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark that. 
I then put down a full box with a glitter header and a half box. I'm super sorry this part is kind of out of frame. I think I had adjusted my camera ever so slightly um, just to see if I liked it better this way, if the lighting was better, um, but because I'm not used to the placement, some things were out of frame this week. On the half box, I marked my working out, so I put down a workout Gertie the Unicorn sticker from Willow Wallow Co., which is so cute, and then I put down this um, three bow gold foil checklist from White Deer Stationery to mark some things that I did that night. One of them was edit, and I decided to pull in this gold foiled edit script sticker, and that is from Magic Prints Co. Moving on to Wednesday, first I started with a Today header at the top. That was a leftover from a Hello Petite paper kit that I used. And then I pulled in this pink flag sticker with a um, phone icon. I think that was from my leftover stash, so I don't know what shop that was from, but I used that to mark that I had to call somebody in the morning. I then made some adjustments on Tuesday. I switched out the full box and also the color of the IEP flag that I had used. Moving back to Wednesday, I found this little quarter box and I used that to mark that I went and picked up some Del Taco for lunch because I was heading to a private school to do an observation and the Del Taco was like really close by it so I decided to stop by. Um, the taco sticker is from A Happy Blue Tree and then to mark my observation, I pulled in these glasses sticker from Laven Forest and then put the time of the observation inside the lenses. I moved to the bottom and initially placed down a half box so I could kind of gauge um, how much space I had left and I used the full box that was initially on Tuesday um, right on top of that. I realized I didn't have enough space to mark everything so I shifted everything up just a little bit and I pulled in this purple little things and then an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs again. I removed the little things. I ended up deciding to use a gold foiled um, arrow icon instead. That's from Magic Prints Co. And I used that to mark that it rained, but because I realized that I forgot to use a glitter header on this day, I ended up deciding to nix the rain. Um, I was like, whatever, it's not that important. I don't need to remember that and was able to fit in a glitter header. So on Wednesday, I attended a Galentine's dinner party at my friend's house. It was super fun. Um, we had some breakfast foods for dinner and just kind of chatted and hung out for the night. So um, that was definitely a good time. I just lettered that on the half box and um, I didn't really have any space to pull in an icon. So I just left it as is. On Thursday, I first started by putting down a glitter header with a full box. I decided to write um, Happy Valentine's Day on the full box, but first put down a gold foil bow from Hazel Sticker at the top. The pen that I'm using now is the Pilot Brush Lettering Pen, which I have been loving. It is a little bit thinner than the Tombow Fudenosuke, so just depending on how thick I want my lettering to be, those are the two pens that I have been switching out using. Um, but yeah, I really like them both. Underneath the full box, I put down this quarter box from the kit, and then I put down this sticker that I think is so cute. It's like this mochi holding its umbrella that's turned inside out um, to mark that it rained on Thursday. Then I wanted to mark that I didn't have any meetings on Thursday, which is very exciting. I pulled in um, this really happy munchkin sticker from Once More With Love, um, and I do a little bit of that block lettering, but I switch it out later because it was just looking a little crowded um, since the lettering is so large. I pulled in another strip of the washi and um, put down a shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop to mark that I did a really quick workout that night. And then um, to mark our date night for Valentine's Day, I put that on a half box. Um, we went to Din Tai Fung, which is one of my favorite restaurants, especially for their soup dumplings, which are amazing. So those soup dumpling stickers are from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And I also pulled in a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. Din Tai Fung is inside a mall, so we decided to do a little shopping after. We just went to Uniqlo and I picked up some new work pants. And then when I got home, I had to pack because I was leaving for Houston the next day. Um, so I packed and listened to music and just actually had a total blast um, doing that. The suitcase sticker is from Paper and Milk. Like I mentioned earlier, I felt like this space was really crowded, um, so I just go ahead and change my writing for the no meetings part, and I move to Friday. Initially, I put down this quarter box. Um, the gold foiled balloon stickers are from Stella Bow Sticker Co. I do switch this out later on, so I'll explain that in a sec. Um, I put down another one of those three bow checklists from White Deer Stationery to mark some things I had to get done in the morning. And then I also included a gold foiled um, PO box sticker from Magic Prints Co. This is where I switched out the um, quarter box at the top. This new one is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and I just brush lettered no work at the top. 
In my district, we actually got Friday and the following Monday off of work, which is why it was a perfect weekend to travel. Um, and yeah, so on the half box that I just put down, I used a Bon Me sandwich sticker from Hazel Sticker. To mark that, I went and had lunch with my boyfriend on this Friday. He had work and I didn't, so I decided to bring some lunch and just enjoy that time with him, especially because I was going to be gone all weekend. And then um, I put down another strip of the washi that I cut off from the bottom and pulled in this airplane sticker, which I believe is from Very Cute Designs to mark that I flew to Houston um, that afternoon. A group of girlfriends and I traveled to Houston to visit another one of our friends who just moved there over the summer. And so we um, were reunited for the weekend, which was so nice. It was so much fun to see them and get to hang out with them. To mark that we were reunited, I initially used this gold foiled heart from Hazel Sticker, but I do end up switching it out for a bow, uh, which is from Clever Gal Crafts, because I didn't have enough space to mark the other things I wanted to. Underneath that, I pulled in a quarter box, which is from Shop Jessica Hearts, and that beer sticker, which is my favorite, is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. We went to a bar that night, which was really fun. Um, they had like food trucks around, so we also had dinner there as well. I didn't know very much about Houston before I went, but I totally fell in love with it. I just feel like it's a super cool, like diverse, chill city, um, and yeah, it was just it was just a good time. But anyways, at the bottom, I did have to trim down part of the full box to make it fit, but that wasn't a huge deal because it was just like like the bottom of that signpost and um, then I moved to the weekend. At the top of Saturday, I first started by putting down another strip of the bottom washi, and I actually managed to work out on Saturday morning, which I was really proud of myself for working out when I'm traveling, and that dumbbell sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. I then decided to work backwards so I could see how much space I had to pull everything in. At the bottom, I used a three heart check flag and um, I think that's like a little things or something like that. Um, and I put a gold foiled remember script sticker from Rose Color Days on top of that. We had tacos for dinner, so I pulled in this taco sticker from Love Shira, which is perfect. And then um, we did get ready before we went out for the night and I put that on a, I think it's a little things with a makeup sticker from Chasing Chels. Above that, I used a full box um, and then a glitter header on top of that. I put down a half box and then decided to switch the header on Wednesday to a to-do header instead. Um, and then I moved that today header on Saturday. I replaced my workout sticker and then continued to work um, chronologically again now that I have all the base stickers set. Um, so on the half box, I marked that we went and got some barbecue for lunch that day. It was absolutely amazing. We did family style so we could try a little bit of everything. And that steak sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. And then on Saturday, we um, did a pedal party, which I don't know if you guys have seen these, but it's like basically a trolley with like um, all these um, bike pedals around it where you can sit and pedal the trolley around. It doesn't go very fast at all. Like top speed is like five miles per hour. So it's super slow, but you could legally drink while riding it, which is pretty fun. Um, so that's what we did. I pulled in the spike sticker from Kina Prince, which I've never gotten to use. So I was really excited about that. And I believe we pedaled around the Midtown area or possibly downtown. I can't remember, um, but we went to several bars along the way. So I marked um, some of those things and then put down the spear bottle sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I marked that we got ready for the night, like I said earlier, and then at the very bottom, I just marked the places where we went out that night and also used a drink sticker from Hazel Sticker, which I think is so cute. It was a little big for that space, but I just couldn't resist using it. It was so cute. And then on Sunday, I first started by putting down the full box at the very top. We got some coffee in the morning, so I put that on a little things, and that coffee mug sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. On Sunday, we went to get lunch at this um, Southern comfort food place. It was called Grace's and it was so amazing. Oh my goodness. The line was really long. So we went to a bar nearby um, while we were waiting and um, that wine sticker is from Kylie and Chaos and the pancake sticker is from Kina Prince. We then went shopping around another neighborhood and we also got some boba. So of course I had to pull in a boba sticker and that is from Plans with Vanessa. I used a glitter header and then a quarter box with a crying girl from art box sticker to mark that my friend who we were visiting actually got into a car accident. We weren't in the car with her at the time, but luckily nobody got hurt even though the car was totaled. Um, but yeah, so we kind of spent some time like helping her deal with that situation. And then we went out and got some dinner, which I put on a little things. And at the very bottom, we just went back to our Airbnb and watched some TV. Um, and I pulled in that gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. 
Like I mentioned way early on, I did actually remove the Simply Gilded washi on Tuesday because I just didn't pull it in at any other point in the week and I didn't want it to just be on its own. Um, instead, I replaced it with this washi strip from a leftover kit and I just brush lettered today over that to make its own little header. And now to finish my spread, I am just filling in my sidebar as I usually do at the very end. Once I'm done with that, I am just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. And yeah, that is it for today's spread. I know I say this all the time, but I absolutely love this spread. I think it came out so beautiful and so, so, so perfect for Valentine's Day as well as a girl's weekend getaway. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. I hope you guys all had a lovely Galentine's and Valentine's Day uh, very belatedly. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys know that I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.